Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on exercise 7.1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 5. And this exercise is about fractions. It is about fractions. The first question in this exercise says, Marcus divides a cake into five equal pieces. What fraction of the whole cake is each piece? Write this fraction as a division. For example, if the cake is in a rectangular shape, he can divide it into five equal pieces in this way. Now the question says, what fraction is each piece of the cake showing? Each piece of the cake is showing one-fifth of the whole cake. So we can say that each piece is showing one whole of, sorry, one-fifth of the whole cake. Now it says write the fraction as a division. So the fraction one-fifth will be equal to one divided by five. The fraction bar and the fraction, this fraction bar is showing division. So whenever we have a fraction, we can write it as a division dividing the numerator by the denominator. Well, question one is solved. In question two, it says six children share two pizzas equally between them. The diagram shows two ways they can do this. In the first way, they have cut the pizzas into six equal pieces and each child gets two sixths of each pizza. In the second way, they have cut each pizza into three equal pieces and each child gets one third. Now it says draw a diagram to show two different ways each children can share two pizzas equally. How much pizza does a child get? For example, if we have two pizzas in this shape, one, two, we can cut them into four equal pieces because there are eight children. Each child gets one fourth of the whole pizza. And also we can cut the pizzas into eight equal pieces, into eight equal pieces in that case in that case each child gets two eight of the pizza so we can write two eights so we show two different ways in the first way we cut each pizza into four equal pieces and each child gets one fourth and if we cut the two pizzas into eight equal pieces each child gets two eight let me scroll a bit down to go to question three in question three, it says, Sophia, Marcus, Zara, and Aaron share three cakes between them. What fraction of a cake does each child get? How many children are there? Sophia, Marcus, Zara, and Aaron. They share three cakes. Because it says, what fraction of each cake does each child get? So we have to cut the cake into four equal pieces. We have three cakes. Let's say this cake is circular in shape. One, two, three. So we cut the cake into four equal pieces. Into four equal pieces. Each child gets one fourth of each cake. So in total, we can say that each child gets three-fourth of the cake, three-fourth of the whole cake and one-fourth of each cake. Well, in question four it says calculate. So to have enough space, I will remove the parts here that are drawn. So let me first remove it. Well, now we have enough space to solve question four. So in question four, we are finding fractional part of the whole. Fractional part of the whole. 
in part a of this question we have two-third of 15 two-third of 15 let me write it here two-third of 15 what does it mean it means we divide 15 into three equal pieces and two of them should be the answer here we divide 15 into three equal pieces and we have to show two of them two of those three equal pieces so 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 so if we divide 15 into three equal pieces each piece will be five but we have to show two of them because two third two out of three equal pieces is equal to 10. in part b it says three fourth of 24. three fourth of 24 means three fourth of 24 means 24 is divided into four equal parts and we have to show three of those four equal parts so to find this we have to divide 24 by 4 24 by 4 24 divided by 4 is 6 means if we divide 24 into four equal groups each group will have 6 now 3 out of 4 equal groups will be equal to 18. 3 of them will be equal to 18. Part C is showing 3 fifth of 60. 3 fifth of 60. Let me scroll a bit down. So 3 fifth of 60 means 60 is divided into 5 equal parts and the answer will be 3 of those 5 equal parts to find the answer we have to divide 60 by 5 60 divided by 5 is 12 so if we multiply 12 by 5 we get 60 so in this case if 60 is divided by 5 the answer is 12 or for example if we divide 60 by 12 the answer is 5 based on the fact family of multiplication and division so 60 is divided into 5 equal parts each part is equal to 12 now we have to show 3 of those equal parts we know that 1 times 12 is 12 2 times 12 is 24 and 3 times 12 is 36 for example if the number is bigger like 12 is a bit bigger we can multiply 12 by 3 whatever answer we get is the answer here 12 times 3 is 36 so the answer is 36 the last part which is part d is showing 6 7th of 84 6 7 of 84 let me erase some part of this question okay so we can erase and write the answer here six seventh of 84 six seventh of 84 means 84 is divided into seven equal pieces and the answer is six of those seven equal pieces so we can divide 84 by 7 and it's equal to 12 because 10 times 7 is 70 11 times 7 is 77 and 12 times 7 is 84 now we can multiply 12 by 6 and get the answer so we found out that 5 times 6 is sorry we found out that 5 times 12 is 60 and 6 times 12 is 72 so the answer here is 72 this is the answer to part d of the question so we can simply write the answers here 2 third of 15 is equal to 10 3 fourth of 24 is equal to 18 and 3 fifth of 60 is equal to 
36 and 6 seventh of 84 is equal to 72. This is the answer to all questions A, B, C and D. Well, let's go to question 5. In question 5 it says, Arun says to find 3 tenth of 20. I divide by 3 and multiply by 10. I divide by 3 and multiply by 10. We have 3 tenth of 20. 3 tenth, not 10 third of 20. So in this case, he is wrong. We have to divide 20 by 10 and multiply by 3. The same way we did here for 12 times 3, which we found was 36. Now it says, Arun is not correct. Explain what he has done wrong and correct his answer or correct his statement. Arun is wrong here because he has to divide the number or the whole by the denominator and multiply it by the numerator. So in place of saying I divide by 3 and multiply by 10, he has to say I divide by 10 and multiply by 3. In this case, he can find the answer. Let's do it here. 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. 2 times 10 is 20. And 2 now will be multiplied by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So the answer here will be 6. This is the way that we can do not dividing by 3 and multiply by 10. Well, we are done with question 5. In question 6 it says, Zara has one fifth of a bottle of milk. There are 100 ml of milk in her bottle. Now it says, how much milk was in the bottle when it was full? So we can make it as a fraction as one fifth of one fifth of the whole bottle is equal to 100 ml. One fifth of the whole bottle is equal to 100 ml. How much milk was there in the bottle at first? Now we go opposite to the way we were going to find fractional part of the whole. Now in place of dividing by 5, we divide whatever number we have here by 1. We divide by 1 and then multiply by 5. Let me write here for you to understand. 100 divided by 1 is equal to 100 and now we multiply 100 by 5 which is equal to 500 ml. It means there were 500 ml of milk in the bottle. There was 500 ml of milk in the bottle. So when we are finding the whole, but we have the fractional part of it, we divide the fractional part by the numerator of the fraction and multiply it by the denominator. Let's scroll down to move to question 7. In question 7 it says, these four squares are one fourth of the whole shape. One fourth of the whole shape. Now, how many squares are there in the whole shape? We can write as a fraction in this way. One fourth of something is equal to four. This something is the total number of squares in the shape. So if we use the rule we use for question 6, we divide 4 by 1, divide by 1, multiply by 4, we can write it like this, 4 divided by 1, and the answer is multiplied by 4, we get 16. Because 4 divided by 1 is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. It means there are 16 squares in the shape. So because it says draw three different shapes that could be the whole shape. So we have to draw three different shapes. Let me complete this first one. 
one two three four so this is the first part this is the second part we have to draw two more parts okay this is the third part and I have to draw four more squares this is one of the ways that we can draw the shape and the other way because there are 16 we can draw a square that can be 4 by 4 that can be 4 by 4 so this one is also showing 16 equal pieces or 16 squares and the other way we can draw is drawing a shape that is showing 2 by 8 means we have two columns and eight rows let me complete it these are the three different ways that we could show the shape which are having 16 equal pieces or 16 squares we are done with question 7 in question 8 it says one quarter of a number is 8 what is the number? One quarter means one out of four equal parts. One out of four equal parts. Let's assume it is a shape. If this shape is a circle, we cut it into four equal parts. This is showing one quarter. One quarter means one fourth. Now here it says one quarter of a number is eight. This means one fourth of the number is equal to 8. What is the number? So according to the rule we divide it by 1 because 8 divided by 1 is 8 and then we multiply it by 4. Divide by 1 and then multiply the answer by 4. We can write 8 divided by 1 and the answer is multiplied by 4. We can get 32. We can say that the number is 32 the number for which the number for which one quarter of it is 8 it can be 32 we are done with question 8 let's now work on question 9 in question 9 it says 3 tenth of a number is 30 what is the number check your answer to question 8 and nine with your partner so as in the previous video I said I am one of the partner and you are the other one let's see if you get the same answer as me or not because it says three tenth of a number three tenth of the number is equal to 30 three tenth of the number is equal to 30 what is the number so if we follow the rule, we divide the number 30 by 3, we divide it by 3 and then multiply it by 10. So 30 divided by 3, sorry, it's not by 10, it's by 3. So 30 divided by 3 times 10. 30 divided by 3 is 10 and 10 times this 10 is equal to 100. So the number for question 9 is 100. This is all about exercise 7 1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 5. I hope it helps you learn how to find fractional part of the whole and how to work with fractions or how to write fraction as a division. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates and your students if you're a teacher and please do not forget to ask if you have any other questions regarding fraction or fractional part of the whole. Have a nice time and thank you so much.